another question from Celine, please. Um, hi, thanks for the talk. Um, I had a, a question, maybe it's just that I um, didn't totally understand, but I was wondering, uh, do you have a theoretical upper bound for the um, MWNLU algorithm that you propose? Because we see we see in the numerical results that indeed it seems to 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 really reduce communication, but yeah, do you know in which case it will be good or not, for instance? Yeah, very well. Try to, uh, I don't know, close and try to reopen your mic. Maybe it was very, very noisy. Is it only for me or for everyone? Yeah, for me. And for me as well. Yeah. Try to stop and uh, reopen your mic. It's bad, unfortunately. Is, is it? Is bad. It's difficult. Unfortunately, sounds like it's encoded. Can uh, can hear me? Nah, it's better. Left. Thank you. All okay. Right. Okay. okay uh, thanks for our question, and it's very interesting because. Uh, uh, so for now, we just uh, we just can use the numerical experiments to uh, evaluate the communication frequency, and uh, uh, we uh, we intuitively explain the results. And uh, 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 we are working on it on it to uh, give an, uh, give a theoretical analysis for the communication efficiency. And uh, uh, yes, it's for our future uh, research direction. And uh, Okay. Uh, Thanks. Uh, I wonder if it, he's not actually put a question on Slack, but uh, this sounds like the type of thing that Isaac might be interested in. Do you have a, a comment, Isaac? It's, uh, you've got your state space to collapse. <laughs> um, I mean, this is sort of what I was hoping for from the last uh, talk so I'm not sure uh, what to add to it I guess oh I guess what I would say is um, I, the results here are phrased like very much in the heavy traffic regime um, is your like heavy traffic bound like effective in the sense like does it are you able to get a bound at all loads, even if it's kind of poor when it's not heavy traffic, or is it like just in that asymptotic limit that it applies? Uh, so, uh, uh, so, so your question is, uh, we we have the it's heavy traffic analysis, and uh, so uh, I uh, was was reminded to change your question. And sure, I to be more clear. Um, does your heavy traffic analysis give a bound for on like response time or whatever you're specifically bounding um, at all loads that becomes tight in heavy traffic, or is it a bound that only applies um, in the heavy traffic limit? Uh, I, I think the upper bound is only apply to heavy traffic because uh, the SSC result we built. Uh, you can say the uh, the SSC. Uh, the state, state space collapse result we built, uh, it relied on the uh, Q, uh, Q orthogonal K part, and this part uh, will only uh, diminish in the heavy traffic region. So uh, I think it's only applied to the heavy traffic region. Uh, okay. I hope that's a question. Yeah, thanks. Okay, well, we've got plenty of time. Are there other other questions? Either yeah, with your hand or on Slack, preferably on Slack. Uh, hi, is Daniel? Uh, may I ask a question directly? Uh, because it's not yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Thanks for your talk, and uh, I have a very simple question, but uh, maybe uh, 
and to also clarify for others that are not super familiar with a uh, heavy traffic analysis. So the uh, uh, space collapse that you uh, considered was to collapse uh, a two-dimensional, uh, let's say, uh, space into a single dimensional one. Could you uh, like elaborate a bit more, like, explain a bit more uh, the state space collapse that you considered? Uh, uh, so your question is, uh, so uh, in this paper we consider uh, collapse to a, a, a first collapse to a con K and then collapse to the subspace N. So it's uh, uh, it's collapse to uh, it collapse to multi uh, dimensional uh, dimension dimensional space. So uh, hard, uh, uh, it's hard to announce this than uh, uh, the only collapse of the, the one dimension line. So the final uh, uh, space that you analyze is a single dimensional one, right? What? Uh, yeah, I, the, I think the collapse I, goes from uh, multi dimensional to single dimensional, right? Uh, yes. I, I think uh, uh, collapse to single dimension will be um, easier than the collapse to multi dimension. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Thanks. Um, to to clarify, the collapse to the number of dimensions you collapse to depends on whether, um, like, what exactly the arrival rates are, right? Like, if the arrival rates are lined up with a corner of the stability region, you'll get a multi-dimensional state space collapse. The yeah. Will be multi -dimensional, but. For if it's just at a fast, if it's in the middle of a facet, then it will be a single dimensional uh, perpendicular to that facet. Uh, I, I think collapse to single dimension is a special case uh, uh, because in this paper we consider the uh, arbitrary number of pores are saturated. And uh, uh, in, pres uh, in previous paper, uh, in pre previous work, uh, only uh, one row or one column. Is saturated. It's uh, uh, the the collapse is one dimension, so it's a special case of our analysis. Okay, thanks. So just just to conclude, then, unless there are more other questions come along. Uh, so the the performance gains that you got, you, you basically described in terms of the numbers of, in terms of communication cost, number of communication rounds. Uh, I may have missed it, but were there any? Have you got any like numerical results about that? I mean, how much saving is that? Uh, uh, you mean numerical results for what? For uh, many, for example, how many communication rounds do you save comparing the two algorithms? Uh, you 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 prove that you save on the on the number of rounds. Yeah. yeah. But it's uh, great. just my question was, well, how much do you save? Uh, I, I think the uh, the picture for the simu simulation results illustrate that uh, the uh, we for a uh, uh, for example for a four by four switch uh, we use the uh, we think uh, if we not use this communication algorithm the uh, communication frequency is uh, uh, it's four times four it's uh, sixteen and uh, uh, if we use uh, periodic MWM, the uh, uh, communication frequency is a is a green line. Uh, yeah, can, on, can on you the, do it yeah. back up? Um, or is it simple, Danilo? On the top of the to get picture, current, to show the side. Yeah, you are a presenter now. You you can uh, you can share your screen and over your slides. Oh, okay. Uh, you say I can share my slides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should just in the bottom of the window, the share button enabled now. You can okay. share okay. your screen and your slides. Uh, okay. uh, please wait a minute. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, 
yeah, the for the replica, uh, you can say the uh, and, and with periodic uh, updates. Uh, uh, in in here we said the uh, the parrot is three, so the uh, so its communication frequency is uh, sixteen over three, and uh, uh, this three uh, this three line are our uh, the communication frequency derived by our method. Okay. And the okay. Ori original communication frequency uh, is regarded as 16. So, uh, and 4 times 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's... Um, I can see this, the scale of the improvement on that. Okay, well... Uh, there aren't any more questions on Slack, so I think we can we can thank the the presenter and the authors. So I'll, I shall do. Uh, thank you very much. So, um, Danilo, so we move.